Hello, this is Michael X, and I did the pathfinding for our project. And I'm going to generate the village right in this plains mine. It's taking a while. It does take some time for a crash for a second. Um, yeah. So yeah, pretty standard. It's not nothing, nothing went wrong. So it's kind of boring, but well, let me change that. So let's go to a desert biome now. Hopefully, I can go. Do they not have a a hilly desert biome? Oh yes, yes, okay. This is where all the interesting stuff happens. Um yes, okay. And generate the village right here. And just watch it break. Um And hopefully it does. Because when things work, it's not very interesting, is it? <sighs> Never mind, that was better than I expected. What I thought was going to happen was it's going to place like some sand and it's going to like update the bottom one and then all the sand will fall down into uh, like a pit. Um, ah, yes. Um, this pathfinding, like, um, the path, it does, it's like one block, but then I want to make the path thicker, so it goes out a bit. And sometimes when it does that, it just creates, like, a impossible path. I don't know why. Uh, something broke. Yeah. Well, in this case, something, something else broke, but... Um, sometimes it can create an impossible path by adding like extra blocks to the side. Okay, let's go to the next biome to test. Uh, let's go to Dark Forest Hills. <clears throat> Gonna take a while to search. Uh, what? Let's try another hills. Um, forest. Let's try birch forest hills. Oh, oh no. Oh god, this is a bad take. Oh no. Uh. Oh, yes, yes. I found something. And let's watch it break here. Yeah, it takes a while because um, I'm recursively checking all the tree blocks and then removing the 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 tree. So and um, for like really dense forest where like trees are right next to each other, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while. Sometimes it leaves like a some residue because it reached like the max recursion depth that I set. Yeah, it takes a while. Yeah, there's some yeah here's the residue some residue from like reaching the max recursion depth. I think I set it to like nine hundred. Oh yeah, also, this, this, oh yeah, you can see some sand falling, um, this part is really laggy because, um, the water surface heights, um, I mean, the, 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 the top heights where you're in water is like the surface of the water, so if I'm gonna place, blo uh, the hill down, and it reaches water, sometimes it just floats on top of the water, so I have to, I have to actually check the blocks, I can't just use the top heights, um, Uh, 
yeah, sometimes the path goes into the house. Um, anything interesting? Uh, oh, this is actually, actually kind of worked, which I'm surprised about. Sometimes, um, if there's still like trees left over, sometimes the path will go over the trees and that's how, that's another way it'll break. Uh, um, yeah, let's go to the next biome. Let's go to jungle. And then we'll go to bamboo jungle, which I know for sure will break. So let's just go right into the middle of the jungle and then we generate our village. <laughs> yeah, as you can guess, it's probably going to take quite some time actually because these jungle trees are really tall and it's really the the it's really dense the amount of trees yeah here's some yeah there's some, like some residue if the if the recursion's not going to reach to it So generating the hill, then placing the house. Oh, um, the hill generation. Um, how it how it works is, um, I get the, all the top heights around the uh where I'm placing the house. Then it gets the house that's on the highest point, and then it generates the hill. And then I get all the um the top heights, the new top heights where all the houses are. Then I get the top heights. Like the like the remaining houses, I get their top heights, and then I ca um I calculate like the the one with the maximum top height, and then I generate the hill uh, for that house, and then place the house on top of that hill. Um, why I do that is because um, what happens if I generate a house as lower uh, lower first, and then I generate a house that's on top. And then the hill will just go into the house. That's why I do that. Uh, oh, and the hill, yeah, I used a bit of pearl and noise, but maybe I should have just simplified it by using some random number generate, because only one block offsets. Uh, let's go to bamboo. Uh, yeah, let's go to Bamboo Jungle. Okay. Then I'm going to generate the village here. Hopefully it'll break. <laughs> okay, what is what is going on? I haven't actually tried this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. MC Pi doesn't doesn't know what a bamboo is. Uh, yeah, because it doesn't know what a bamboo is, so I can't set the block, but it knows that the bamboo um, top height exists. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's been not working for blocks it cannot identify, such as kelp. Kelp is included. I don't even know if it's actually going to do the pathfinding. The pathfinding may actually not work. <laughs> oh. 
Oh damn. Yeah, sometimes Yeah, okay, this is another this is like a this is another case where the pathfinding breaks. <laughs> yeah, I, d I need to I needed to implement a better do a better pathfinding. If like if the house is like facing this way and then the end the the goal is on the other on the other side. Oh yeah, um also um the house rotations. This is actually written to have gone code uh um like once, like creating the house. And you can actually use matrix uh multiplication to rotate the house so I don't have to repeat the code. So that's that's another interesting thing that um that I encountered. Oh and uh you had to set like a direction for the stairs because uh after if, so like um you always uh you'll rotate this rotate the um the house but the stairs will face in like the wrong direction so you had to set like a a um a standard direction for the stairs yeah that's the word okay uh standard direction for the stairs and then you, I, I made it like a dictionary so like um if it's like um if the house is facing in the absolute forward direction then set the stairs to this or the house is facing in the absolute right direction put the stairs here I'm um, use the stairs for this part uh let's go to the next biome um Mushroom? I actually haven't tried this before. If you can find it. Yeah, I for I forgot to I forgot to add like mushrooms as uh as a type of tree block, I I, I guess you could say. Uh, or maybe it should have called a plantation block or something. Uh, my naming sense is bad. Oh well. We generate a village here. And hopefully it does what I want it to do. Yes, okay. <laughs> it generated... <laughs> yeah, I, I should destroy this this and then place, place a house. Like update the heights and then place a house on the new heights. Um. Oh, I thought it crashed. Okay, that's good. It's taking a while. <laughs> yeah, it's one on top of the the mushrooms. I forgot to. I forgot about this. I didn't thought of it. <laughs> Oh right, yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of messed up. Um, this is because, um, I'm still setting the hill. Um, setting the hill takes, uh, like generating this hill. It takes some time, so the this height was not updated on top of this hill. So, yeah, I did, I didn't do a very smart move. I should I should have said it all at once if um like do it like save all these high these um this entire hill and then set it um send a request to the the server and set it all at once and instead of just doing mc dot set block mc dot set block I just use the the normal set block uh function I I should have used the fast query to set the blocks but <sighs> yeah so it didn't it didn't um. Then up, like when it up, like when it's got the top heights for this block, it got like the top, old top heights, and then yeah, generated into the hill. Yeah. Um. So for the final, final test, uh, let's let's go to, let's go to uh, the ocean.
Oh, if I do deep, it'll, it'll lag. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I was I was just right next to it. Okay, let's just go into the middle of the ocean. And then we generate our village. It's it's gonna take a it's gonna take a long time. Yeah, okay. Because did I really said this? Um yeah the water's top heights uh the top heights when the water's a top block is on the surface of the water. So I have to had to do like a query check. Uh, I, I actually have like to check the like the actual blocks until I reach like a non-water block to set the hill. Always the hill is just going to be floating, and if it's sand, it just plop down through the ocean. Yeah, sometimes it does this. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand why. Get up. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna take a yeah. All well, the sand is updating. No, <laughs> I should I should have put like if it's sand or gravel, I put put it like a solid block underneath. Yeah, many bad decisions made, but God no. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, hopefully, it, like it try to swap. Yep, there we go. Just like the bamboo. MC Pi doesn't know what a kelp block is, and I can't set it to air for some reason, or set it to any block. That's it. Just ignores it. I don't know why. Oh yeah, 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 I forgot to mention, yeah, the bridge goes, the stilts go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. Um. Uh. Okay, so... Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the lambstone spawn in the water. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Lambstone exists here. Uh Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot to mention this but uh, if the house is about to spawn on a tree, it will recursively destroy the tree, and then get the new heights in that area, and then spawn it on on top. Uh, uh, so now, uh, let's move on to what I'm really supposed to talk about. Uh, is the pathfinding that I did. Okay, we just go to my mess of a code. I just uh, I took it from the the A I used A star. Well, my <laughs> crappy modified version of A star <laughs> from from this pseudocode from Wikipedia. Uh. Uh, another problem I ran into was that I couldn't store the position. Like I used vectors, the Mac, um, MCPy vector three. They had like a equality here. Um, equality overload, but they had no overload for hashing, so you can't store it as keys. So I just <laughs> I just converted into a tuple. Uh, 
maybe I should have just passed in the start uh, position as a top or maybe that would have solved all my problems but uh, um, I didn't really use a priority queue I just <laughs> I just did the min on the list maybe I should have done the priority queue to hopefully and that will hopefully make it a bit faster uh, um, I ignore going up vertically upwards or going down um, vertically down this, uh, this doesn't solve all my problems as you saw like the path went like zigzag up zigzag up the house that can happen uh, I check if it's in my top height uh, yeah I get like the top height around like the area I check if it's if the position I got is in like the the X Z position is in like my top height dictionary because if it's not then it will crash and yeah I have to check this to make sure it doesn't crash uh, <laughs> and then I have to check if um, if I'm going into the ground I don't want to do that so yep um yeah you can see I I tried to uh, punish for going upwards but that didn't work and I don't know why maybe I said the uh, maybe I said too low I don't know I just learned this two weeks ago <laughs> yeah uh yeah the crate path uh yeah I have to actually I have to check if it's in the air or if it's in if it's going on top of the water because as I mentioned when you're going when you get the top height on the sur on top of water it's actually the top height is on the surface of the water it doesn't go all the way to the bottom so I have to check that so I can put the stilts if it's in the the uh in the air I can just set it all the way set the wood block logs until uh until I reach uh, the top height but if it's in water I actually have to search downwards yeah excuse this messy code but I had to search downwards mm. and keep checking if I either hit a a water uh, sometimes air I don't know oh right I need the air because it might be like in the air but on top of the water so this these two conditions in the air and in the water may be true at the same time uh, and I, I put a pillar every five blocks uh, um, sometimes uh, if I just put the pillar I, I just put the pillar on the most left and most right position relative to the direction of the path uh, this this will sometimes break because what if the most left position is uh, inside like a block or on top of the house it'll still it'll still generate the stilts so yeah that's where it could, this breaks uh, yeah I tried my best uh, what can I talk about now? <laughs> yeah, I can see you can you can see my messy code. Uh, I don't know what I was writing. <laughs> Some weird collision detection. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I don't know if it works. Uh. Uh, where's the generate hill for structure? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I implement my own pill annoyance. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. Just was curious to see how it worked. Uh, I set the offset like really large because the hills were looking too like too much like a pyramid. But as you can see, it kind of didn't. Kind of worked and kind of didn't. 
Still looks like a pyramid. I tried my best. Uh. Um, I didn't know how to make the pillar noise infinite. So what I end up doing was using, <laughs> using, <laughs> using a, <laughs> using a modulus. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. It just wraps around the 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 map. Uh oh how I rotated the house. <laughs> this is some dodgy matrix multiplication. I don't know what this is. It works. That's what matters. Uh what I was mentioning before about Oh, this is not the right one. Uh, I needed a uh, a standard direction for the stairs, so relative to the world forward direction, uh, it'll be one, and then I can calculate I calculate the forward direction relative to, uh, sorry, the how the houses. Uh, uh absolute the uh, the forward direction relative to the absolute uh into absolute uh direction so so this could be like left or right and uh for the absolute direction and then I can convert it to the correct rotation oh and <laughs> yeah i I made like nether portal as a windows for one of the houses so that was that was pretty fun to make uh Yeah, um, I think that's that sums up a lot of the project. <laughs> yeah, the houses aren't recursive, but <sighs> it's good enough. Alright, that's it. Bye bye. <laughs>